Hello, yes. Yeah. Ah, like this we can place the flat roof. Or else also we don't have to go to roof and do this. We can also modify by using the floor also. The same thing we can make, right? Mhm. Mm If I am I'm just deleting this. Okay? And I am going to link it. Okay? Now instead of roof I am taking the floor option. Okay? I am going to edit type and duplicating. and changing it to roofing okay mhm mm and also i'm changing i'm going to create new material rename roofing okay okay here we have one name called roofing Okay. Mm -hmm. Then go to asset browser. Then again, I'm searching for roofing. Roofing from here. Again, go into graphics option. Choose rendered appearance. Apply. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now again, what pick? Use the pick line and change the offset. What all we want the projection for flat roof only, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, then change the level to slab bottom finish. So then, when if I go to three D, you see? Hmm. Like this also possible. We can both make by using the floor and roof, okay? Mm hmm. Like your convenient, you can make. Mm. I think it's clear. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Did you take the notes or something? What is yeah. What is happening? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You should take the notes. It will be helpful. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Then practice. <laughs> Then practice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, see, uh, next week I think we don't have class because I am traveling to India. No, no problem. Uh, my father is sick, uh, mm. so I am traveling. So I will be coming back on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Then next week or else in in between days we can if you are available we can take or else we can take it next Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday is okay. Mm -hmm. So this is roof. Next thing is you see roof by extrusion option. For example, if we here we have a parking, a car parking or something, and we have we have we can make a small shed for the parking and all thing, right? Mm -hmm. Mostly we can use by roof by extrusion method. The thing apart from the floor and roof and everything here, we should set the place or Set the work plane of which portion we are working and which uh, which is we are saying. We should set the work plane and we should work in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for that, I'm just going to roof option from here. I'm just taking roof by extrusion. I'm just taking pick a plane option from here. Okay. Then I'm just taking picking this plane as my option. So you see here. A show option. If I go to show option, you see the mm. plane will be showing. Yeah. If I I check here also, it will be unchecked. Now mm -hmm. I will show you. I'm just drawing a random shape of my parking. Example like this. Okay. Mhm. Mm Then finish. Mm. Then you see. Okay, now if I want it under specific area, you see the shape arrow should be here. Mm -hmm. You can adjust it till till here. Okay, any shape you can go. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Now, the thing is, you uh, notice something. I have set the plane here. Then 
I drawn an extrusion in this, uh, or uh, I have drawn a shape here. Then it extruded, or then it comes in under this plane. So what if I want something this in this place? For example, if I want here also, I want an extrusion. Which which place we should set the plane? Uh, the small wall. Yes. The this small yeah. wall. No. The, 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 if, the, if I set the small wall, it will be coming in this direction. So hmm. which portion we should set? And taking roof, roof by extrusion. Pick a plane option. Always use pick a plane. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then okay. Then I am just pick the other one. This as my plane. Mm. Yeah. Then I am drawing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then finish. Okay. Mm. Then if you select this one. So did you get the concept? Mm -hmm, yeah. So if you want here, then the plane should be setting as On this area. Okay. Mm. Ah, then it will be extruding in that direction. Mm -hmm. Concept will be simple. You should just think and work. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now if I want to make it as a glass. Okay. I'm just selecting this one. And if you drop down from here in properties, okay. In properties, if you drop down from here, you see a slope deviation. Mm -hmm. Just make it slope deviation. Now you see. Now we should add again cut and grid. I'm going to place the cut and grid over here. Now you see this arcing. Mm. Okay. Again, architecture, Boolean option, all grids. Okay, and if you want the circular also, you can make it circular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good, right? Good. Again, for similar also, this one, select this one, go to properties, slope the glazing, and this will be a glass. You see, the shape we have drawn is an arc. Mm. But the glass they placed is straight. So for that we should give the grid and only. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. see a thing the this is our mullion right mm -hmm. the glass is some more height difference than the mullion you see you can i think you can understand it mm -hmm. the glass is up right up, yep. so the thing is if you select the select the glass by using the tab option okay select the glass by using the tab option then if you go to edit that, you see here they have added a offset. Mm -hmm. Just make it zero. Zero, yes. Now you see, it will be adjusted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Clear. Clear. Yeah. Just check it. Sometimes the software itself will be adding some value. Now here we don't have the Correct. Mm -hmm. But here they have added some offset and all the Just change it. I think it's clear. Yeah. yeah. Any doubt? No. No, it's clear. I uh, I will uh, message you if uh, I need some help or... Practice. Yes. Uh, oh. Okay, then practice till here. Just let me know if you have any doubts or something. Mm -hmm. And also just practice some uh, real projects and all, okay? Okay, like no problem. Yeah. Search for some Google images and then we will be getting some CAD files and all. And mm -hmm. you can work regarding that and it will be more easy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. Bye.